team that's unbeaten. Their only loss was to a player, Kenny Smith, their brilliant freshman guard, injured in the game you saw here on NBC, broke his wrist against LSU, but the team goes on. The beat goes on, but they miss Kenny Smith. What is main thing that they, the other cannot do, he can lead the fast break and hit the open man. He's the quickest from bubble to bubble. Steve Hale will start for Kenny Smith. We'll also see Buzz Peterson. Lots of depth on that North Carolina bench. For Arkansas, their key player, obviously, in the middle, 6'11", Joe Klein leads the team in scoring and rebounding. Well, Dick, Joe has to hit the offensive board and rebounding, and, and also they got to get the ball into him down on the blocks. If Arkansas does not do that, it's tapioco. Uh, tapioco, <laughs> you say. So, Joe Klein, who went to Notre Dame as a transferred here to Arkansas, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have nothing but tumult here in the home of the Hogs, Razorback country, Arkansas, trying to improve its 18 and 4 record against unbeaten North Carolina. The introduction of the starting lineups in just a moment. Today's game. First, the Tar Heels of North Carolina. At center, number 42, a 6'11 sophomore from Black Mountain, North Carolina, Brad Doherty. At forward, number 44, a 6'8 senior from East Meadow, New York, Matt Doherty. At forward, number 41, a 6'10 senior from Latham, New York, Sam Perkins. At guard, number 25, a 6'3 sophomore from Jinx, Oklahoma, Steve Hale. At guard, number 23, a 6'6 junior from Wilmington, North Carolina, Michael Jordan. And the coach of the Tarles, Dean Smith. And now, your Arkansas Razorback. At forward, number 24, a 6'6 junior from Newport, Arkansas, Charles Valentine. At forward, number 33, a 6'6 senior from South Bend, Indiana, Leroy Sutton. At center, number 35, a 6'11 junior from Slater, Missouri, Joe Klein. At guard, number 14, a 6'2 senior from Oklahoma, Arkansas, Ricky Norton. At guard, number 21, a 6'3 senior from Barberton, Ohio, Alvin Robertson. in his 10th year at Arkansas. He's won over 300 games. He's brought national recognition to the university program, one of the outstanding basketball school first this year teams in the nation. Arkansas and North Carolina to tip off in a moment. unbeaten record challenged by Arkansas today two All-Americans Perkins and Jordan Doherty and Doherty Steve Hale replacing Kenny Smith Arkansas Valentine and Sutton Klein their leading scorer North maker Robertson their number two score fine all around 6-3 guard the game basketball been presented by members of the Tall Kappa Epsilon fraternity at Arkansas. They carried it all the way from Fort Smith to Pine Bluff, raising money for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital in Memphis. Out of bounds, off the forehead of Valentine, North Carolina, Steve Hale, 25, will play it in. His father, Jerry Hale, former coach at Oral Roberts, is here cheering for his son. Boy, the noise is definitely trying to keep a lot of pressure on Steve Hale. He's not as quick as uh, Kenny. Michael Jordan. Rebound. Ricky Norton, the guard, brings it down. Very important for Tar Heels not to fall behind early in the game. Klein. Perkins made the play. He deflected it. Then it hit Klein's hands out of bounds to Carolina. Hale with Norton on him. Jordan with Robertson. Blocked beautifully by Valentine. Klein and Valentine both there to swat it away. Watch the two of them walk together. Klein from the outside, Robinson from the inside. Brad Doherty, Sam Perkins. Perkins has just been sensational the last dozen games. Shooting over 60% from the floor on the year. Steve Hale has the 
the first points of the game. A lot of pressure on Steve Hale, so pretty good that he hit his first shot. Takes the monkey off his back. Hale replacing the injured Kenny Smith. Norton, here's that. Famous trap. run and jump. Boy, he had a lot of All-America around him. He had both Jordan and Perkins surrounding him. Norton. Out of bounds to North Carolina. Arkansas is getting a hand on the ball, but it's just both their fingertips the last couple of times. superior height. They have one big man, Klein, at 6'11", but then it falls off. Doherty is in there, and he was fouled. Matt Doherty. If you watch, I think it was Norton Doherty going into the middle here. There's a switch. There's Norton, catches his wrist. Ball dances around. Doherty, the senior from East Meadow, New York. He is one rebound away from becoming the first player ever in Atlantic Coast Conference history to score 1,000 points and get 400 rebounds and 400 assists. He needs one rebound to make that magic number, and Carolina's numbers are 5 nothing early. Push him off the side in double team. especially in the back court. Michael Jordan, and the foul is on Robertson. Here's Robertson driving towards the fast game, extremely quick. On the other end of the court, he's picking up Michael Jordan. It's the key matchup. I don't think he can stay with Michael Jordan. He'll get in foul trouble. There's a beautiful shot. Five North Carolina leads. We played two minutes here in Pine Bluff. Jordan on the receiving end, 7-2. to two. Carolina always does that against the zone. They go to the weak side and send Michael Jordan along the baseline for the alley-oop. Jordan hawking Norton. Robertson. Wide open is Valentine. They left Valentine alone, and the junior from Newport, Arkansas makes him to four. Watch this matchup right here. It's a key matchup. Robertson can't get in foul trouble. To Matt Doherty. Rebound, Valentine. Make that Sutton. Leroy Sutton with a rebound. The Razorbacks trail by three. Joe Klein, his first shot, and a foul on Doherty. Here's that alley oop now in the back of the, of the zone. See the three men in Arkansas. Take the other angle. Watch the three men in Arkansas. They're bone. So no one has Michael Jordan. He comes in from the weak side. That is coaching. He can go up and change the light bulbs, can't he? The way he flies. Joe Klein at the line. Transferred from Notre Dame. He's averaging 19 points a game and over nine and a half rebounds. Arkansas to win. They must get the spell of the ball down low on offense. Trying to cut up Carolina's lead to one. Seven to six with three minutes gone. Too early to say, but Arkansas looks real quick out there. Nice. Dan Perkins is left alone. Perkins has his first bucket. Arkansas almost didn't get here for the game. They played yesterday in Dallas against SMU, beating the Mustangs, and because of an ice storm, could not fly out last night. They took a charter plane from Dallas to Pont today, arriving just two hours before game time. Three or four of the guys flew up on the flight. So funny. Sutton rebounds and scores. Leroy Sutton. His first points. It's 9-8 Carolina. Show the 
fake than automatic two. The officials today are all from the Atlantic Coast Conference. When Arkansas played at North Carolina, all the officials were from the Southwest Conference. You'd rather have that than a mixed crew, didn't you? I don't think you should have mixed crews. And we call them split crews. It's better when you travel to have the whole uh, visiting team have their officials assigned to the game. And that is the case today. Lots in her life. She's just absolutely beautiful. Young and old are here to cheer for Arkansas. 9-8 North Carolina. And a turnover. Norton brings it down. Sutton misses everything. Klein gets it. And he was fouled. Oh, he's wrapped up underneath there. He's such a space eater. You have to call him more of a battleship than an aircraft carrier. He's Watch six him underneath here. 6'11 and 250. Boy, that's a... And he is fired up. He went out of that skirmish with his fist clenched trying to get this crowd with him. Brad Doherty's foul, his second. And so Dean Smith will make the substitution. Joe Wolf into the lineup. He's from my home state. I've been saying he's from Kiel, but he's from Kohler. So I owe his family an apology. Trying to tie the game. Missouri. This would be Arkansas's first lead if he makes it. You shoot over the front rim, not in back to the back rim. Nice movement by Carolina. Michael Jordan. free throw shooting team is back in the lead. They're one of the better teams in the country, 78%. Alvin Robertson. Boy, this is a lightning quick Arkansas team. Almost a steal by Hale. Working real hard to get the turnover, maybe trying too hard. They had the same style against LSU. They had to finally pull it off and grind out LSU, LSU rather than blow them out. Klein, he tr took a walk. made the block, but Wolf made the foul. Uh, here where he takes a walk in the boardwalk in Atlantic City. One, two, three. Move that uh, pivot foot right there. Now Wolf will foul right yeah, with his hip. First foul on Wolf. Haven't seen a missed free throw yet. And Leroy is at the line looking for his third point. From South Bend, Indiana. Sutton, a most interesting young man. He plays the organ at a church services up in North Little Rock, uh, Arkansas. He learned to play the organ. His father's a minister in South Bend, played in that church. He's not a good shooter. Anything from four or five feet in, fine. After that, they don't want him to shoot from outside the foul Son is putting a lot of pressure on him, but he's going to pick up his third foul real soon. Now Jordan pressuring Norton. Here's that pressure by Carolina. They double team. Robertson and Jordan makes the steal, and it goes to Perkins. Great defense by the time. Michael Jordan. That'll be charging. He knew it. First foul on Jordan. Quickest man on the court by. 
by far is the man that's been charged into right here, Alvin Robinson. The only person that can match his quickness is sitting on the bench with a broken wrist. That's right, Jimmy Smith, the freshman for North Carolina. It's even at 11. We look at Dean Smith, Hall of Famer, inducted last year. Basketball Hall of Fame. A lot of pushing and shoving is in low. Wine loses the ball and Hale. Peterson is in the game for the first time, and he turns it over. Robertson the other way, he'll slow it down. Eddie Sutton does not want a high-scoring game today. He wants a half-court game where they can use their quickness underneath. Foul on Hale. Yes. The last 14 years, North Carolina, that's an amazing statistic. In fact, you didn't believe it, averaging nearly 82 points a game for now, 14 last night, years. Last night, we're having a pizza. I bet the guy... Quarter. There's no possible way they average that many points. I just want to see if he ever gets a quarter. <laughs> I, I, don't, I still don't believe it. Until I believe it, you can show me, but you, I'm from Missouri. So is Big Joe Klein for Arkansas. He has the ball now and throws it away. So that's what Eddie Sutton didn't want. No, it may have been touched by, no, it was not touched by a Carolina player. Did not want the turnovers, and Razorbacks have been guilty. Well, there's five personal fouls on the Tar Heels and four on the Razorbacks. out on Perkins. Game tied, 11 aside, 13 minutes left in the first half. Hale, wide open is Peterson. Rebound to Klein. Boy, he rips them down. Someone asked me, will Arkansas be tied? You're never tired if you take on the best team in the country. That ball went off Doherty and right back to Klein. Robertson. Open to Sutton. Leroy Sutton. He has five points. Never mind Leroy Sutton. Alvin Robinson is a pro. An absolute pro. Reminds me of the triplets from many years ago. Watch this pass. <laughs> Fingertip pass. Yeah, that great team of Brewer and Moncrief and Dell. And he's built like those three, isn't he? Yep. He could just fit in. Pull the quartet. Eddie Sutton seems to find those. He had uh, U.S. Reed and Daryl Walker all built in that same mold. What he puts into teams is tremendous discipline. There's no surprises. Even when he coached at Creighton, a lot of his strength is on the weak side of the court. He has constant movement. So does Dean Smith. They're facing the zone again. Arkansas leading 13 to 11. inside the paint. Surprisingly, where they shouldn't be getting hurt in there. Rose looking for help. He's in trouble. And it's stolen. Taken right back by Robertson. And then over. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. No, no. No, 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 no. What are you saying? You don't agree with the call? I'm not sure why I'm saying no. I really believe that that ball was touched by North Carolina on the other side of the court. Here we go. A lot of hands in there. Now, here we go. See, he touched the ball on the other side of the court, so he can't step over. Oh, they've called a technical now. Oh, my. Let's show that again. You'll see Hale or uh, Peterson touch the ball as it goes half court. We go over half court. There, see, he touches knee. That means that you can pick it up uh, going over half court. Right. But out of it all, Perkins gets either one or two shots. We'll see if it was against the bench or against Robertson. I think it was against, against the, the bench. bench. So yep. he's going to shoot two, and that's a big turn instead of Arkansas having the ball. A two-shot technical, and Carolina will get the ball. 
was a tough call. So Shooter Perkins, maybe the best big man from the line in the country. 15 to 13, North Carolina leads. They get a break and they take advantage. They'll have the ball when we return. Here's that call again with eight minutes into this game. They steal it, strip it away. It bounces around. Robertson is called for over and back. And then the technical foul on Sutton. Two shots have been made by Perkins, and North Carolina gets the ball. That's a six-point turnaround. Well, what I think should happen, the people at home should mark that down. There's 12 minutes left to go in the first half. The score was 13-13. The key now, if they score now, it's, it's a four-point uh, score. That's tough. Plus, plus, Arkansas didn't get the ball. Now there's Jordan. And he misses that one. What an athlete. Robertson, hawked by Hale. Sutton with Wolf. Robertson to Valentine. The game is tied as Charles Valentine has four. From the paint, surprisingly, Arkansas is murdering him. Not in the score, but from inside the paint. Sam Perkins knocked away by Sutton. Watch this one, Michael Jordan. The ball's just a little bit too high. He has to go up with one arm. Watch this. All the way up. Boy, that ball on the top of the square on the, on the backboard. Tied at 15, 11 minutes remaining in the first half. straight up that he leaned in towards the basket and he did he did Sam Perkins along with two of the top candidates for the John Wooden Award for college basketball's top athlete this year that will be presented here on NBC in our final telecast of the season by the coach himself there's one they didn't call he just did save it and then Wolf knocks it out of bounds boy this run and jump pressure that North Carolina puts on you so well Time. They all know what they're doing at all times. Now watch Wolf comes up. This doesn't go over. The ball's open. Has to touch. You can reach over and grab it. Wow, that now was watch a great Wolf. save. He didn't continue long enough. But Wolf comes up on the strong side, pinch on him. That was a terrific save. Well, he, he, he's quick, Norton. I think that uh, he has to shoot more. It seems that he wants to pass rather than shoot. That is their second leading scorer, Robertson. 15 and a half a game. No, I meant Norton. Oh, Norton. Here's that run and jump again. Here's, here's Klein's axe. 
accidentally tipped him. He was going up for the ball. And that, down the other end, watch how Michael Jordan comes from the baseline. All athletic ability right here. Now, you tell me on this last play, was this goaltending? I don't know. <laughs> Dave Popson, number 35, just into the game. The freshman for Carolina picks up the foul. Two-shot opportunity for Robertson. That's his fifth point of the game. The alternative men on Michael Jordan now. They put Valentine on. Took Robinson off him. Arkansas's Eddie Sutton brings in number 20. 22, Robert and a 6'4 senior from Muskegon Heights, Michigan, where he was the captain of the state champions there in the Wolverine State High School. Nine minutes left in the first half. Valentine's first foul. You know, Dick, this might be the most aggressive man-to-man -man defense that we have watched all the season. Where North Carolina's defense is more a combination of traps and jump switches and so forth. More cerebral attack by the Tar Heels. Just straight one-on-one -on -one and don't let your man do anything with the ball for Arkansas. Dean Smith. You saw that list, the rare list of unbeaten teams in college basketball history. Carolina's won their first one. Best ever for Smith. Robertson with a steal. Three on one. No, a foul on Hale trying to get it back. Second foul on Hale. That Robertson, how many arms does he have? He's an octopus. <laughs> Here it is. Just, just pure athletic ability. Tried to pass the ball over. The game scares me in this way that I, I just, from the top of it, the quickness of Arkansas, I would say that Carolina really is going to have to pull out all their stops to win this one. Playing up here in Pine Bluff, which took us about an hour to get to from Little Rock last night. The biggest lead for Arkansas. Robertson's seventh point. And it's now the Razorbacks by five. Rebound, Perkins. Okay, Jordan Perkins. Maybe Matt, a 12 foot jump. The other two guys should now start seeing the ball more. This is the first regular zone they went to off a of basket. 2 3 zone. Sam Perkins. That's Doherty. Doherty, and the foul before the shot, and that might be on Robertson. Let's see. No, Leroy Sutton gets the foul, and for Sutton, that's his third. Oh, Leroy Sutton is third. Both right. teams are in a one. Dick. Why are you shooting one? Well, that's surprising. A lot of time left. Eight Arkansas. minutes and 16 seconds. Charles Valentine. Sutton goes out. Daryl Bedford, 54, and Valentine are in. Bedford, 6'8". Sophomore from Smyrna, Georgia, just outside of Atlanta, into the game for the first time. Valentine's a mixed master, so watch down the other end now. They got two giants in there with Klein and. Um, that's not Valentine, Bedford. One shot, man. Take a lot of space under the basket. Doherty trying to cut the Arkansas lead to three and does. He's shooting 67% from the line. That's the worst of the first seven or eight players for Carolina. Valentine, Robertson. Once they get the ball into Robertson's hands, that zone press is broke. Kitchen inside. They say post on Valentine. Klein rebounds. Klein gets it back. Misses when he was fouled. Just the weight lifter. He really committed the foul. He was the defensive end out of the way with his shots. Line wanted a goaltending on it. Now watch him. When he gets the rebound, watch where he gets the ball and watch where he shoots him. He gets the rebound. Now watch him back up. The next rebound. Get another one, son. Back up. No, he didn't. I'm wrong. And the foul on 
Sam Perkins is second. Going to be a physical game underneath. It's five in a row from the line for Joe Klein. He has one basket and five for five from the line. That is the nicest sound the player can hear. Let's listen again. remaining in the first half. So a 24 to 17 lead now becomes 27-24 North Carolina. And Sam Perkins pressuring. Then Ballantyne, and there's Perkins again. Well, actually, Jordan from the blind side knocked the ball away, and then Perkins at the other end scored the jumper. There's Sam Perkins, who now needs only four more points to move into the number five spot all time in Carolina history. It's 27-24. And Sam Perkins, the other side of the young man, he'll be our guest at halftime with Al McGuire. Wants to be a broadcaster. Robert Klein. Arkansas. Arkansas trailing now by three. They led by as much as five. Bedford, he scores. And the foul is on Bedford for charging, so Carolina will go to the other end and shoot one and one. First points for Bedford. Ball gets out of his hand in time before he charged, so it's okay. The basket counts. Carolina goes down the other end, and Wolf will take a one and one. Joe Wolf, 6'10", for Dean Smith at the line. His brother, Jeff, played for Smith a few years ago, and Joe follows in his older brother's footsteps. 
28-26. North Carolina leads with five and a half minutes remaining. When you're number one in the country, it's for a reason. That when you're undefeated, it's for a reason. 29-26 the score. Pressure now as Carolina mixes it up. Robertson with Jordan. Sutton can't believe it. Jordan running into the man, but they didn't see it. And a dry spell for Arkansas. Inside to Klein. They take it away again. Traveling on Matt Doherty. The senior doesn't make that kind of mistake very often. Disappointed with himself. You see Dean Smith patting Buzz Peterson on the back as Peterson comes in, and it probably will be Doherty who goes out. Of the game for North Carolina, no. 22, Buzz Peterson. Look out, Michael Jordan. Jordan goes out and gets a breather. Jordan and Perkins are on the bench at this point with five minutes left in the half. Now they'll settle back to Defensive-wise, because the two All-Americans are out. They'll go to a 2-3 zone, not too much pressure on the outside. They'll allow you to shoot from the outside. Bedford gets a kind bounce, so Daryl Bedford comes in, hits his first two shots. That was a tough house bounce. 29-28 Carolina. Brad Doherty, rebound by Bedford. Oh, he's a big one. Bedford is 8-225. He lost about 25 pounds this year. Robertson to Bedford. He hits again. Matt Doherty. Robertson rebounds. So suddenly it's Arkansas that has scored six unanswered points. Line is tiring. They've got to slow down the pace. and slowing down its pace. Sparked by Daryl Bedford off the bench. Arkansas counters with eight unanswered points of its own. And it's Arkansas back in the lead by three. Well, the Olympics coming up, and it figures Jordan and Perkins will make the Olympics here in Did Bobby 84. Did Bobby Knight tell you that? Well, I'm just guessing. Larry Brown was the first Tar Heel, 64, then Scott in 68, Bobby Jones, 72. Jack Davis and Ford all in 76 when Dean Smith was the coach. Al Wood in 1980. I thought Dean made a mistake in 76 taking three of his kids. I thought he left himself very vulnerable, but he ended up winning it all. He took the goal back for us. Jordan is back in, but Perkins is not. A steal. Valentine made the play. Boy, this Arkansas team. So it is with. North Carolina, tenacious defense on both sides. Norton, Ricky Norton, his first points. A five-point lead with three minutes, 12 seconds left. Here comes Sam Perkins. He's going to check in. Arkansas went to man-to-man. -man. They have more success for man-to-man. -man. Michael Jordan. Hale. Inside to Wolf. Sometimes when you take that little roll, they call traveling on you. Kissed it off the glass here. 
almost got called for charging. And now, here's Doherty. Watch Brad Doherty on the rebound. It came right on uh, Klein's back. Needed the saddle. Jones. Ride him, cowboy, ride him. <laughs> Third foul on Doherty, so he'll probably be rested for the remainder of this half. Joe Klein, a perfect six for six from the line and ten points in the game. That is Arkansas's largest lead of this first half. Six points. You know what seems to happen? They can see if they hit the rim, the rim opens up for them. <laughs> the ball keeps bouncing in. Take one out of the game right now. I'd be afraid he'd pick up his third foul. Eight for eight for Joe Klein. A seven point lead now for Arkansas's Razorbacks. As the Gold Twins time, Jordan of Perkins. Perkins back, back in. Hale. Nice play, and he's fouled by Bedford. Oh, beautiful play. Perkins fakes the ball to Hale, coming at him. Hale turns around and goes back door. Now watch this. There's the fake. There he goes back door. The defensive man is lost. <laughs> Ooh, he comes down real hard. Kenny Smith nervously watching the action from the North Carolina bench. They hope to have him back for the Atlantic Coast Conference Tournament, maybe sooner. He's working out in practice with them. Steve Hale's done a good job in his place. That's nine points for Hale today. And the lead for Arkansas is cut to four. And there could be an over. No, Robertson. I didn't even see him. He's so fast. Not in the attacking zone. They're trying to cut off the inside game now. Don't want Klein. Bedford to have the ball underneath for Valentine. Here's Bedford with it. Side note, I think. One three one tight zone underneath. What we call a post stamp zone. zone. No clock, no clock in this game. And there's a turnover against Arkansas. Although the Atlantic Coast Conference and the Southwest Conference use the 45 second clock, they elected the two coaches not to employ it today. 203 remaining in a very exciting first half. That was a great timeout. Dean Smith called about two, three minutes ago. Dick, Long to make a move at the Bedford got a piece of Perkins. His third at the line will be Sam Perkins, who is shooting 84 percent. Bedford kind of reaches in here and kind of cuffs him. Watch it. Too much risk. I had a very interesting conversation with Sam Perkins, which you'll watch at halftime. He wants to go into TV work when he finishes his pro career. Probably talking 11, 12 years down the line. Leroy Sutton, he has three fouls. Bedford with three, so that could be a trouble spot for Arkansas' Eddie Sutton. Perkins, 83.9% from the line. Over 60% from the floor. Great All-American. Dick, I owe an apology to Dr. Ed Stites. Why is that? Ah, I go wacky now and then. I made some mistakes. Ed Stites has done more for basketball. He works for the nicest guy in the world. Every time I have a problem, I call him. And yesterday, I'm screaming about the... Well, you were kidding, though. You weren't. You didn't mean that uh, personally. Well, I know I didn't mean it personally, but, uh, I, you know, sometimes I go to bed at night and I try to say, why did I say that on the air? That I forget that there's millions of people listening. Stites is a credit to basketball. I owe you one, pal. There I apologize. I got taken my time. Springfield, Massachusetts. It all is over the jump ball. Al gets upset because he doesn't like the fact that all we have are the arrows. He wants the jump ball back, and he has a lot of people who will agree. Two-point saw with a minute and a half left in this first half. Robertson extricating himself and setting up Sutton. What a play. Extra what? Extricating. Okay, whenever you want to. Something you can do in public. You're holding. Somebody holding away from the ball, and I believe it was Valentine. Yeah, Val you almost got to hold Michael. Inside pass. No problem. 
Problem. That's the basket just before now. Robertson following the play. He has that same leaping power of Michael Jordan. Watch him come in here. Look at he's up there too. His passing is equivalent to any other part of his game. Jordan looking for his seventh point today. Joe Klein, that's the first uh, miss by Carolina from the line. They were 12 out of 12. I didn't think he held the line long enough. After he shot, he jumped right off at that time. They went for one if Carolina stays in the zone. They'll go down for one. You're going to have to come out man to man, Carolina, or trap anyway. They're going to come out and trap. Too much time left. Final minute of the first half. Arkansas leads by four at 38-34. A beautiful save by Leroy Sutton as he batted it back to Norton. Arkansas spread out. Carolina's trying to stay in a 2-1-2 pressing zone. Pretty hard to handle when it's spread out. No, no two ball players are close to one another. To Watch the clock start going down now. It's 30 seconds. Thrown away by Robertson as he tried to set up Sutton underneath. So North Carolina has it with 27 seconds left. And he's a little bit upset over that one. Eddie Sutton, the coach. 32-30, Illinois. Sharing the Big Ten lead with Purdue. Leads Iowa by two. Bob Costas will have some highlights from that one for you. That's the other half of our NBC doubleheader today. Dave Popson is in, and so is Buzz Peterson for Carolina. 22 seconds left. Perkins is on the bench. Arkansas will settle back there. Will not come out. Robinson, get back there. There he goes back. Get back into your zone. They'll let Carolina take the shot with six seconds. Who do you think will take it? Jordan has the ball. And get a shot from the outside. Traveling. See what happens once uh, Michael George started to penetrate, they'd come off Peterson and he hit the ball out. Four seconds, four seconds left in the half. Arkansas has a chance to take one quick shot. They'll rush too much. They usually take a bad shot. Four seconds is a long time. Now, nice and easy, let it go. Good. Good time. Boy, he was on the money. Yeah, and that's didn't. the end of the first half. raucous sellout crowd and Pine Bluff enjoyed it thoroughly. At the intermission, 15th rank, Arkansas 38, number one, North Carolina 35. Time all season that Carolina has trailed at the half. They were behind to St. John's by two, Wake Forest by five, Duke by one, LSU by three, and they trail by four today. 50%, both teams hitting half of their field goal attempts. Both teams shot well from the free throw line. The big problem that jumps right at you is those rebounds. They're cleaning their clock underneath, inside the paint. Now, Arkansas with 17 rebounds in the half to only eight for Carolina. Individual scoring, Perkins leading the way for the nation's unbeaten Tar Heels, the only unbeaten team in the nation. Hale chipping in with nine, Jordan with six, Doherty three, Doherty two, and Wolf two. Arkansas, Klein with a dozen, Sutton with seven, Robertson with seven, but boy, is that misleading. What a first half that kid played. Bedford six off the bench at three in a row, Ballantyne with four, and Norton with two. Foul trouble could be a factor. Remember Sutton and Bedford, the two forwards, have three each for Arkansas. Oh, Dick Doherty has three for North Carolina. That is Brad Doherty, not Matt. Ready for the second half. Arkansas with a 18 and 4 season ranked 15th on our NBC basketball writers poll of course Carolina has been number one for eight consecutive weeks there's Klein and Perkins the two leading scores we're set to go Arkansas will get the ball first in this second half first basket mean much just didn't get the ball in in five seconds and there's that double team the trap again Time you get in the corner up high, they're going to double team you. Robertson, oh, he had an opening up the alley, didn't take it. Uh, not really open. Sam Perkins is down there. <laughs> Robertson underneath Leroy Sutton, and Robertson has another assist. He is the all-time single season assist leader in Arkansas history. We can see why now. He is the best passer I have watched in the last couple of years off today's game. 
Six point lead for Arkansas. Perkins, Matt Doherty, Michael Jordan is free from 20. And Jordan drills it. Eight points for him. Nice and easy. He was so surprised to find himself free at the top of the bow. Here comes the jump. That's it. He kept his dribble alive. Nice pass. And wide open underneath was Valentine. So again, Arkansas getting those layups. Matt Doherty the other way to score. Will it count? No. Offensive foul on Carolina. Big, big call. Very important here. The Razorbacks score these two baskets at the start of the second half. And again, from inside the paint, they just seem to be muscling underneath there. Quick pass again. Uh, the paint again. See, at the other end, the biggest of them all is the fact that Doherty commits a foul and loses the two points on the ball control penalty. And it's a six-point lead for Arkansas, a minute and a half into the second half. Nice, nice play by North Carolina. Hale anticipating the pass, and then he lost it out of bounds. Nope. No, he didn't. The official pointed as if it was out of bounds. But... Michael Jordan knocked down by Klein. Robertson on the run. It is good, but Sutton picks up his fourth foul. But that's an eight-point lead, the biggest of the game for the Razorbacks. Here they go down. They, three of them go right towards the basket. They tighten up, and he puts it in his obvious charge in the Doherty. 11 points for Sutton, but he has his fourth foul. Tough man, a man by Arkansas. Perkins wide open. And the foul is on Sutton, and that'll be all for him. might have been before the shot. That hurts. One thing that Arkansas does not have is a long bench, the luxury of one. Carolina does have a long bench. So Sutton is out with his fifth personal foul. He leaves the game with 11 points. They'll miss him. Daryl Bedford, number 54, who scored three baskets but also picked up three quick fouls, has replaced him. There's Bedford. No basket on the Perkins play. The push by Sutton was before the shot. Pretty much got to go to zone. Carolina kind of murders the zone. 2-3 zone because of foul problems. Being played by Arkansas. Michael, watch Michael Jordan going for that alley-oop at the bottom. Jordan. Matt Doherty. Knocked away by Norton. Norton to run. Robinson's trying to play both ends of the court up and down. Here he comes in real quick. Take another angle of that. You're getting to be a director. You've done play by play this year. <laughs> Producer <laughs> is the last foul. Watch how he keep Hale keeps his eye up on the rim. Doesn't doesn't lower his head. His father would be very proud of that. The son of a coach. Well, the the coach would have to give his son an A grade so far. He's five for five from the line and one for one from the free throw line. They gave a two-shot foul. I wonder why. They gave him a basket and a two-shot foul. I don't understand that. I, um, We've got to get a clarify on that. I, I think they're trying to get where the guy that breaks away is allowed to, uh, they might be thinking of Kenny Smith and... Uh, well, I agree with that, but that certainly wasn't uh, anywhere close to that kind of play. Yeah. Well, I don't think Kenny Smith was hurt intentionally either. That was the guy who went up with, with Kenny Smith, Tudor. It so just so happened that Kenny got hurt. Bedford scores. We understand that the ruling was that was...
was a flagrant foul. Now, if that's a flagrant foul, they've really missed a lot that we've seen. Six-point lead. Jordan from Carolina. He's off the mark. Tipped beautifully by Brad Doherty. Klein. And a foul on home. Sam right. Perkins is on his back. Sam Perkins, he was blocked out. You can't get around that Klein. He is a horse. Oh, he, he's a real horse. All right, here's a shot. Let's take a look at that. Flagrant foul. Here we he's go. there. He's there. He didn't catch him from behind. He'd even set. How can that be flagrant? Well, I I think there's an overplay because the kid getting hurt. Like see anyone get hurt. I thought just before that Hale did a very nice thing. The uh, Robinson had the inside, didn't go up and hit him. But two shots should not be until the rule says two shots. The rule isn't there. You can't interpret the, the basketball rule book by yourself. Carolina, a little trap zone. Four minutes gone. Arkansas 48, North Carolina 42. Alvin Robertson. They cannot afford to lose Alvin Robinson. He has three fouls. So does Bedford. Sutton is already out. So that tough defense by Arkansas does carry its weights, and one of those is you commit more fouls. And you're playing great ball plays. You try to play man to man against Michael Jordan or Sam Perkins, you pretty much are going to foul out of the game. You're going to the clock a little bit too soon, Eddie. You got to still remember, you got to get to the basket. North Carolina in the zone. Much time. North Carolina's the one-three-one zones. With Sam playing the baseline. Sam Perkins. He's come out. Now as the ball goes around, Sam Perkins will drive. The Condor is on the baseline. Now well, with that foul problem, maybe Sutton's just trying to take some time off that clock. Yeah, but I, what, I, what, what you worry about, Dick, is momentum. You cannot turn on and off momentum in any sport. Bedford. Whoa, is he hot? Hey, Bedford, come back down to earth, will you? You're not that good. <laughs> Ten points for Bedford. Is he five for five? Did he miss any shots, Dick? Inside to Perkins. He can't hit it. Jordan misses the tip, but Matt Doherty saves. And it goes out of bounds. Foul. Uh-oh. That's a bad one. And that'll be the fourth on Robertson. Here's Bedford. Just a simple little 15-foot push from the foul line. But he's uh, unbelievable. Yeah, five he's for five, five. For five. Indeed he is. That is the biggest whistle of the game. Alvin Robertson, who is the leader of that Carolina offense and defense, has picked up his fourth personal foul. And we have 14 and a half minutes left. 50 to 42. Here's the, here's the flagrant foul again. And I've been campaigning to put some teeth into the rule, but I don't think this one's close. He actually set himself to go up for the block. I'm saying when a man is clearly ahead and you hit him from behind and where he's totally unprotected, that should be a, the flagrant foul. And Tuda did not hit Smith from behind. Tuda went up with him. You're going back to another game. Yeah, the other game. When, when, the LSU game. When Kenny Smith got hurt. And Tuda also came with his left arm. If he would have hit him with his right arm, then it would have been a problem. Meanwhile, it's 50 to 42. Arkansas. Robertson is out. Ratliff has replaced him. Number 30, Mike Ratliff, and Perkins takes it for North Carolina. Here come the Tar Heels. Doherty to Hale. Perkins all alone. He can hit those. Ha <laughs> ha, Sam. 50 to 44. Perkins now is the fifth all time leading scorer in North Carolina history. Pass Larry Miller into the number five spot. I you just feel him coming at you, thoroughbred. Offensive foul against Norton, who had two Carolina men inside his jersey. But when you have the ball, they explained that to us before the game. When a man has the ball, you can play him as tight as you want. And no, if you move into him, he's coming between the two man press. He's not hitting anybody. He's coming between the two man press. He's allowed to do that. Well, I, I agree with you, coach, but the officials, we ask him specifically about that call and he says that's a because it was like the one we had yesterday, yesterday yeah. Virginia Louisville okay Jordan Joe Klein rebounds that's a big miss as Jordan normally buries those 10 footers they can usually nail them 50 to 44 Arkansas lots of time 13 minutes left pass to Radliff just into the game and he can't hold on to it
Arkansas's 10-point lead has melted down to four. Yep, they got to flash a man in the middle. Here comes the trap. Klein over Doherty. Oh, Joe Klein, you came a long way since Notre Dame. And a turnover at the other end for Arkansas. A little bit too far. Stretched out Doherty a little bit too far. Now watch, he kicks it off to Mike, and he goes up for an easy two-hand dunk. Steve Hale has played a solid game. He's just a sophomore from Jinx, Oklahoma, replacing the injured Kenny Smith. Hale has equaled his career high, 13 points. And here's Buzz Peterson into the game now for North Carolina. He replaces Jordan. Looking to double team now. Hale should come at him soon. There it is, Hale and Sam. Medford with a good save. This is Robert Kitchen, number 22. Back Good back door to Radliff, and Hurt Doherty got him his fourth foul. Oh, I thought I thought Brad Doherty made a perfect play that time. Perfect play. Now, hey, I'm not trying. The refs have a tough job. These kids are so good. They're playing three feet above the rim. But watch this. I thought Brad held his ground, went up nice. Okay, I see what happened. The inside arm. You can call it one way or the other. See his inside arm now. Trying Dicks. Yep, yep. Radliff was using the left arm to try to ward off the defender, and that was the contact. But Doherty, nevertheless, has his fourth personal foul. He'll be given a breather. Joe Wolf replaces Doherty. No excitement on the Carolina bench. They're professionals. They keep thinking about what to do. Don't miss the key play. How can I win this particular game? What move? Dean Smith constantly is turning inside. His head's turning. Radliff, the freshman from New York. That's his first point. Played at Fort Hamilton High School. Played center at six foot four inches there. Radliff, key free throw. Way off the mark on that one. 53 46, Arkansas. We played eight minutes of the second half. Obviously, final situation. Arkansas in the zone. That's a 2 1 2 zone. With Mr. Peterson. That's one guy that I bet my life every time he shoots, it's going to go in. 11.50 as Peterson has his first points. Five-point Arkansas lead. 11.45 left. Jordan is at the scorer's table, ready to come in at the next break in time. Darrell Bedford, he's five for five. Boy, they miss Robertson, don't they? You can see the difference in the attack already. Kind of hesitant. count goes to North Carolina five seconds don't ever blame it on the guy with the ball blame it on his teammates they don't move enough so he can have an outlet pass Robert Kitchen being helped off the floor by the official I don't know what happened down at the other end perhaps he ran into the crowd we'll check on his injury when we return it's 18 seconds left Arkansas still smelling an upset chance leads by five why Robert Kitchen, the senior for Arkansas, wobbled off the floor. It appears he has broken his nose. There's a laceration swelling beginning already as they attend to him on the far sidelines. He took a whack, perhaps an elbow or a shoulder. So already, Eddie Sutton without one starter and another saddled with four fouls. This is a top replacement in Kitchen. I just heard, Dick, that, he, that his nose is not broke. He's okay. Oh, good. All right. Last rate. You see that Arkansas has played the number one team in the country four times. They have not been successful in derailing the nation's best in Eddie Sutton's career. But they have Carolina down by five with 11 minutes left in the second half today. Michael Jordan wants the ball. Constant pressure. Never stops. Remember, Arkansas has not lost a game all year. Eric Persky is into the game for the first time. Arkansas has not 
last the game all year at home. Sorry, I didn't finish that statement. They are 18 to four. Jordan has a second foul. Eric Persky, number 52, in for Arkansas. He's a 6'7 freshman from Houston. Went to Memorial High School there. He's a red shirt freshman. You see, Illinois is pulled away from Iowa, but it's only two points at the intermission. All Illini in the second half. And a long season for George Raveling, the new coach there. Boy, has it ever been brutally tough for Raveling. Pass it to the middle. That's it. There's Persky. Let it fly. So highly here in the Southwest. 16 points for Klein to lead the Razorbacks. He also has eight rebounds. Seven point lead. We're at the midpoint. Ten minutes left. Second half. Doherty to Perkins. Get it around to Peterson. Let it fly, Peterson. Michael Jordan. Boy, he wanted that one. You could see him get set. You know, he lets that tongue hang out. They kid him about that. In fact, Dean Smith even wanted to fit him with a mouth. He's afraid he's going to bite his tongue. Boy, his tongue was wagging as he got the ball and nailed a 20-footer. The foul is on Ricky Norton of Arkansas. No, 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 no. Wolf cannot come up with his knees like that. He cannot come up that close on the man. Okay, here's Klein on a turnaround. His nice, smooth type turnaround. 55 to 50 on the turnover. Here it is. Now watch this. See can't move. Jordan. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's the third time he scored on the alley oak, 55-52. So the 10-point lead has whittled down to three. It's time to put Robinson back in the game with the four fouls. And this time it doesn't work. It is unfair to get two men right on you so tightly, no matter what you do, you have to make some contact, and if you're going to offensive foul. Here's the alley-oop behind the zone. It's a set play. Look how high he is. Wow, his, his, his feet are almost as high as the guy's shoulders. Alvin Robertson has returned with nine minutes, nine seconds left. So Robertson playing with four fouls back in the game. Persky goes out. Well, they couldn't keep him out any longer. 9.09 remaining. Bedford almost lost it, and he traveled. That pressure, that trap by Carolina has been brilliantly executed. Arkansas now plus four in the turnovers. Carolina trying to cut the lead to one. Got a great shooting team out there. Three great shooters. There's one of them, Michael Jordan. Jordan over the back that time. He knew it. Second on Jordan. They come over the back of Norton. But he is so good, he almost pulled it off. He leaped so high, he almost didn't make contact. Watch it. Well, he thought it's a pass. I thought he should have taken the outside shot. Did a little Mickey Mouse in the air. Then he comes over uh, Norton's back. That's the 16 foul on the Tar Heels. From now on, it's one and one. Five on Arkansas. Here's full court pressure now. Klein helping out. And now Norton will bring it down with 844 left. 1,005, 1,006. Better hurry. 7, 1,008. Oh, Robertson made a great midair play. But it's a long time away. You're fooling around with Thoroughbred. Valentine, and what a play by Jordan as he made the clean block. Jordan at the other end. Oh, he got a wavelength. Hale, what are they going to call this? Foul on Klein. Klein. He reached in. All right. Fella gets the ball on the inside. Watch. He gets it. Watch it get inside the Valentine. Six for six for the man. I mean, not Valentine, excuse me, gang. You know, Jordan got away with a little shuffle step down at the other end, and the fans, of course, unhappy about that. Klein committed the foul, his first, and we have a time. 
Seven minutes and 58 seconds remain. A tense struggle in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Noisy sellout crowd here at the convention center. A five-point Arkansas advantage. Menard athletes has John Hilliard one-handed on his tiptoes to give you this shot into the huddle of the Arkansas Razorbacks as Eddie Sutton gives the strategy to his fine club. We'd like to pause for a moment on all of Charlotte throughout North Carolina. More in the passing of Bob Quincy, one of the outstanding sports writers in the nation, passed away this week. He's a good friend of mine, Dick. We spent many, many an evening together on sliced barbecue sandwiches and used to go get pizza at night. And he was just a dynamite guy. And uh, uh, my condolences to his family and a job well done. Dean Smith attended the funeral, one of the few times he's ever missed a Carolina practice. He was a Paul Bear along with Choo Choo Justice, the great football player from yesteryear in North Carolina. So, Bob, it's been a good... That is his career high, the sophomore. 14 shot. points for Hale. He's played a solid game today. Carolina's great free throw shooting continues. It's a three-point game. Now they move the pressure up court. No one's taking the guy out of bounds, but he'll break it up. Robinson will break it up every time. Two on two. He had to jump in the take. Sells a keeper here, Dick. This is the kid that's going to explode, not pick up his fifth foul. He does everything. More fouls on Arkansas. Robertson. Ricky Norton blocked by Jordan in the climb. Iowa and Illinois, Dick Hamburg and Al McGuire here in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. The Razorbacks trying to pull one of their biggest wins ever as they lead top-rated unbeaten North Carolina. 57-54, less than seven minutes remaining. Carolina with the ball. They've been down by as much as 10 points twice in the second half. Hale, not there. Rebound out to Norton of Arkansas. Joe Klein, the big center for the Razorbacks. He is tired, walking back. Okay, let's set it up for the people that just joined us from the Midwest, which is my home. Is that both teams are in the one and one three-point spread, foul situations, got a lot of problems here. If Robinson from Arkansas picks up his fifth foul, I think that's all she wrote for Arkansas. Alvin Robertson, a key player who has been on the bench uh, oh, four minutes of the second half, picked up his fourth foul early in this half. Number 22, Robert Kitchen, who took a severe blow in the nose and laceration. Looked as if it was broken, swollen. He's back in the game. He replaces Ricky Norton. Joe Klein goes out. Klein getting a breather, the big center for Arkansas. And first is in. Here's Robertson with Jordan hawking him. And Jordan had a piece of it. And it forces the turnover. No, it goes to Arkansas. I don't think Klein will be out for too long. They need him in there. Just want to catch his breath and get in there for the stretch run. At the moment, Robertson is the only starter along with Valentine on the floor for Arkansas. Inside to Persky. And foul is on Persky. I think what they called that time, that the only call they could call is jumping backwards into Sam Perkins. I don't know what else call it could have been. Six and a half minutes remaining. Carolina trailing Arkansas by three. Perkins with 15 points, perfect from the line, four for four. Have you seen a better big man in college basketball from the free throw line? Well, he, he does everything good. He just has a, uh, a laid back tattoo. He's a super athlete. Uh, Coach Holland the other day. 
Jay said if he had a ball player to pick with the whole country to start a team around, it'd be Sam Perkins. I know if John Wooden himself could vote for his own award, it'd be tough between Perkins and Jordan. But Perkins is the senior, and he's the leader of the team, and that's why Wooden would cast his vote in that direction. Well, Coach Holland also said, Dick, that if I wanted to watch a ball player, it'd be Jordan. If I wanted to have a ball player, it'd be Perkins. Joe Klein has returned for Arkansas, so he did get about a minute. interference or was it a foul a push curtains that's all for Doherty his fifth well, Perkins a rare miss well, that's the first Carolina player to be excused early he leaves with two points now watch the fouls on the outside line just leaning on him this game has been played under the kind of frantic pressure that one would experience in the tournament itself. It has truly been uh, all that the fans here in Arkansas could have expected their team playing very well against the nation's best, especially in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. They play two games here, two games in Little Rock, and of course the rest on the campus in Fayetteville. Pine, after his 17th point, he, like Perkins, perfect from the line. Perkins just missing his first. a foul shooting game. Klein hitting only, well, he's hitting 75%, so he's pretty good himself on the year from the line. Whoever Robinson is covering should be handling the ball for North Carolina. Even inside his zone. Arkansas is inside his zone. This is on the top, on this side of the court. To keep the ball around him. Trying to get a foul. Valentine. Charles Valentine, his second. No, it's Kitchen, Robert Kitchen, number 22, his first. That'll send Michael Jordan. He's a 78% shooter. He'll bottom this one out. Nine, 
57. Perkins now with 16 points. Relaxed these ball players are and his tense stitch is remarkable. Oh, he recocked that time. Uh-uh. Got a break. 59-58 with 4.57 left. Get the ball to Robinson. Keep the dribble alive. Keep it alive. That's it. Nice ball games, close ball games. This is what I'm looking for. And Michael Jordan is such a gifted athlete. I just said it's prime time. That's why I nicknamed him. He gets on the inside of the baseline of that zone and taps it back in. No, I don't. I, Arkansas win beautiful. North Carolina win beautiful. All I want is close ball games because close ball games make good commentators. Well, you're, <laughs> you've been outstanding today. <laughs> Alvin Roberts, and he missed the last time on the front end of one and one. Just again. So Carolina a chance to take the lead with three minutes left. Jordan misses everything almost. Bedford with a rebound. It has not been a good shooting game for Jordan outside. Be careful reaching in there now. They have problems now. Everybody's in the one-on-one. -on -one. They want to foul. I keep fouling Robertson because once you miss one or two, it gets in your head. Robertson with another great save. It was not a
62 to 60. I just noticed that Robinson was jumping around saying that. Arkansas shooting North Carolina, but Carolina has a chance to take the lead first time in this second half. 63-62, a minute 20 seconds left. They can have just about any shot they want from the outside. Jordan takes it and hits it. <laughs> So he was in trouble. This will give Sutton a chance to set up the play. I still believe, personally, that it go for the shot, so he has two opportunities. And here's where we go ahead. Goes to the baseline, perfect balance, nice follow through, keeps his eye in the rim, automatic. Almost to say you're not supposed to miss that one. 15 points for Jordan in the second half. Carolina's in front. Dick Enberg with Al McGuire. It has been a sensational game. Packed with drama and tension. A sellout crowd, partisan supportive of these Arkansas Razorbacks. Snow. We saw them before the game in a light conversation. Eddie Sutton and Dean Smith. And now it's down to loosen the tie and mop the brow. Arkansas 63, North Carolina 64. 29 seconds left. The important thing right now, Dick, is Arkansas has no timeouts left. So whatever plans he had to do, he had to tell his ball players on both sides. I would go for a little bit early shot, and if I missed, I'd foul, so I'd have a second shot, at least tie him, and send it into overtime. The guy makes one for two on the other end. Look to Robinson to get the ball. 29 seconds remaining. Got to get the ball into Robinson's hands. There it is. That's the key man. They're going for one. Now they got to ask the defense. Going to kick it in the Klein, then if they can do it. Look for the foul. Klein can hit the foul shot. Michael. Undefeated, undefeated team. You can all end right here. Hasn't been an undefeated team since 1976. Indiana. Oh, oh it guys to hold on to him. Robertson. He scores. Oh, he scores. It's four seconds. Time out. Seconds. Time out. Time out. Time out. Right. They got to put two seconds back on the clock, Dick.
the correct call. North Carolina will have four seconds. A great save by Valentine. He was surprised by the pass. He thought that Robertson was going to shoot and had the presence to nail the 10-footer. Show, was... show you how well North Carolina is educated. Three guys called timeout when a shot was made. Congratulations to our most valuable players. Michael Jordan, who's shooting down the stretch in the second half, got Carolina back in the lead. Michael Jordan. And for Arkansas, boy, is it tough. Albert Robertson and Joe Klein, both men were outstanding. But Klein had to play the full course of the game. And so Joe Klein, in a tough call, most valuable player for Arkansas, $1,000 scholarship from Chevrolet to both the University of North Carolina, University of Arkansas, plaques to the two outstanding players, Jordan and Klein, today. They are going to give North Carolina five seconds. Well, we, on our clock, it, which is not official, it was four. Now it's down to three. Well, we had it at four, so. Boy, those guys pulled timeout so quickly. Let's watch, go back to the shot. Watch how fast Sam Perkins calls timeout. As soon as the shot goes through, watch Four. it. Four. Timeout right away. There's Matt Dougherty. Timeout right away. Now, Carolina sets up its attempt to stay unbeaten. No. But, uh, you've got to lay back there. Robinson, you're too close. They're going to throw the ball down court. They try timeout at the half court line. They're going to throw it down. Here it is to Perkins. That, another time. I told no, another timeout. This is everything that Dean Smith does is by the book. Everything. The second timeout was going to come at half court. And one second would go off the clock. Now they have a set play. I don't know what the play is, Dick. But almost Dean Smith does not make decisions at the end of a the game. They are pre-made for him. And in fact, it's been well chronicled that Smith spends time in almost every practice situations like this you're down by one point we've got four seconds left here's what we'll do he practices for this situation many teams just hope they get in it he practices for it you're right on the money I, I knew right away what they try to do is get the ball to half court call that second timeout now they have no timeouts left that's all she wrote now so now they'll have a play it probably will end up being I would say some type of a high pass down low with some type of pick around the paint I would, I would leave the guy, no, I wouldn't, excuse me, what I would do now, I would put a tall guy in to take the man that's taking him to the bounds. I'd take one of my back subs that might, as he's 6'10", 6'11", and have him play up close to the guy that's taking the ball in bounds. So when he throws the ball in, he has to loop the ball. So your defense can adjust to it. Now you listen to me, Dave. Yes, I am, but see, I'm also <laughs> looking there at the top 10, as you see, North Carolina, number one. Georgetown, DePaul, Houston, Las Vegas, Kentucky, Illinois, impressive again today. Memphis State, they've won nine or ten in a row now, and we're going to see them next day against Louisville. We're going to see Carolina next Sunday against Maryland. UTEP, Oklahoma, the top ten in the nation in our basketball writers' poll. And Carolina has two seconds to maintain that unblemished record. Will it be Perkins? Will it be Jordan? see Hale take a deep one downtown. Meanwhile, Arkansas is Eddie Sutton trying to figure all the possible options for Smith, and you can't much in two seconds. We'll try to defend him. You'll guarantee one thing there. Their hands will be up in the air. Now, the clock doesn't start, gang, until the person touches the ball inbounds. Now, two seconds is 1,001, 1,002. It's a long time. Robert Brandon, just like you said, Coach, Robert Brandon, a football player, 6'7", 240 pounds. He's come into the game first time to guard the man passing the ball in. All right, now Matt Doherty's passed the ball in. There's the big guy. Good play by Coach number 42 on Arkansas. He'll put his hands up. Get your hands up. No, you can't back him up too far. He's backing up. The ref can't back him up too far. He'll move back in. Now he's cheating. He's moving back in. Now the ref will move him out again. Put your hands up, number 42, so Matt has to throw the ball high. Now they want to move him back a little bit. There's not enough room out of bounds. See, it's three feet, but he can't back up three feet because of the press bro. He's jumping up bounds. Up, down, 1,001. It's good. Oh, it's good.
congratulations. You beat the number one team in the country. This is like the time I beat you in Marquette, Milwaukee. Remember that one? This is a great day for us because I, North Carolina is the best team in the country. And as I told you before the game, if we had to play the Tar Heels in a series, they certainly would win. And I think they would beat most people across the country. But in basketball, in college basketball, I think that's what makes it great. On that day, that one thing can happen, and our players really played well today. I'm proud of them. Hey, hey, Coach, what were you trying to do with 28 seconds left? You had no timeouts left. What did you tell the kids? Tell America. Well, we wanted to run the clock down. We wanted not to take the shot unless we had a layup until we put it up with about seven seconds to go. And uh, we tried to isolate uh, Robertson with the ball. He made a great pass to Valentine, and Valentine put it in the basket. fatigue you know how we didn't get in here this morning from Dallas and had a hard game yesterday against this oh don't give me that you played great what are you talking about Klein, Klein was outstanding Klein's a great player so is Robertson our other players uh, certainly competed hard this afternoon uh, Eddie is this your big, is this your biggest win in, in, in the collegiate career oh I wouldn't say that you know I, I thought the game in 19 seat when we beat UCLA in the Far West Regionals probably gave us credibility, but you know, they'll look back on this game a long time because it's the first time Arkansas will ever beat it. Congratulations, enjoy it. Now back to Dick Enberg. Thank you. A happy moment for Eddie Sutton, the head coach here at Arkansas, led by Joe Klein's 20, the great floor play of Alvin Robertson, and the winning basket by Valentine. Michael Jordan, 21. Hale had 15 at Cree High. Perkins, 17 for North Carolina. So joy in Pine Bluff, disappointment in Chester. 21 wins in a row. North Carolina barely as Hale misses the final shot.